Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Armorama.com. Welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. Today we've got for you the, uh, this is a Platts Cyber Hobby release, um, cyberhobby.com, uh, slash dragon, obviously. Uh, this is Girls on Panzer, and it's the mouse. Now, nowhere on the box cover does it say mouse, moss, but it is. Um, this is mostly a release for the fans of the Girls on Panzer uh, anime series. I've covered another, I did another video on an earlier release with this. There are quite a few of these kits out. Um, mostly they are obviously re-releases of prior kits, like this one, for instance, is a re-release of the dragon, the mouse. Um, so don't expect a lot in terms of what's different in this box, other than maybe some the decals, obviously, are specific to Girls und Panzer. There are no figures included with this. This is a common misconception with these kits because of the, the anime figures portrayed on the front. Um, I think that would have been actually a very smart thing to add to the kits, but unfortunately, if they are available, they're available as a separate uh, separate deal. Um, and my guess is they aren't available. Otherwise, you'd probably see like references on the boxes or something, or in the in the manuals and so forth. But let's go ahead and crack this one open and see what's on the inside. All right. So uh, I probably should have mentioned some other details here. Let's see. This is GP9 in terms of the model number. I believe it is a Platts kit in terms of being in the catalog with Platts. Um, and they're just recognizing that the Cyber Hobby is the origin of the, the kit itself but that it's based off of. All right, so there's a big giant plastic bag in here, but you can see the, the box is really well filled up with the with the moss, the mouse. Uh, and here are the decals. I'll go ahead and pull those out just up front. Uh, you can see they are um, sealed. And through the magic of scissors, we shall unseal them. Okay, so again, you've got, do you have decals of the anime girls, <laughs> you can maybe put them on like plastic or something so they can stand them up with the tank. I don't know. Uh, but the, the main, obviously, uh, the decals on here are the, the cross with the, the Japanese um, girls on Panzer writing. I'm not sure what it says in Japanese, but then the designation for this tank in the show is 100. I believe there's, this is kind of like the evil school. These are the ones that they fight against sometimes. I believe. I'm not sure. Uh, I might be wrong about that. Maybe this is the good school. I thought that the evil school that they compete against, not they're not evil, but the school that they compete against has some of the, the bigger tanks, and they have some of the smaller tanks on their, in their school. I've only watched like half of an episode or something, so bear with me. Um, anyway, so that's the, the decals. Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside with the parts. We'll go ahead and unbox this all. So we've got, um, again, um, I'm going to cover this more mainly for the from this point forward, mainly for the, the actual kit inside than the than the Ghouls und Panzer. Um, this kit probably is a bit dated in terms of, uh, I think it came out a while ago. Uh, I don't want to say 90s, but maybe early 2000s or something. Um, might have been 90s. But uh, it still looks good um, in terms of, you know, being an older kit release. They've got some nice weld detail on the back I can see here. Um, you know, all the grill work looks good. There's no flash or anything like that. Uh, it has individual or quasi-individual track lengths for these. It has large track lengths. I assume those are on the vehicle. And then it has some individual track lengths here. So we'll, I think those are the individuals, yeah. I guess maybe they're all that way. So maybe those are the connector pieces, and then the large pieces fit together. be kind of interesting. I'm not sure how that would work around. Maybe maybe those are the smaller pieces are probably for around the around the, um, the sprockets and the drive wheels, and then the other pieces go for the... For the, the lower and upper pieces uh so that's about yeah the road wheels look good um a lot of these obviously for all the tracks the upper housing or the upper turret is in this bag separate bags for everything interesting and uh they've got the gun here in two the guns in two pieces There's some parts clacking around in there oh that's the gun mantlets floating around in there and then we have one last piece. So really not a whole lot to this kit. It's not a not as much as you would expect. But then it is it is a moss with not very much detail on it in terms of the exterior stuff. So uh, there's a large fuel canister here, and then some of the uh, sprocket drive wheels and idler wheels. Uh, again, no flash. Good small details in here. Um, maybe a little bit. No, it's not really. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm seeing a little bit of flash on some of these edges, but it could just be that they're very thin in terms of they go right up against the, uh, the superstructure that they attach to. So there's a little, uh, I believe this is just a little sticker. 
a little sticker in here for yeah for one of the girls and then the manual and the manual is specifically dedicated to this release um, it's not extensive you can see how you know small it is in terms of the number of pages only a three a three page fold out and so we do let's see that track assembly yeah so the 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 curved areas would just use the single pieces and then these larger areas that are laying flat or on the bottom and the top just use the longer three three piece scenario um, I like how in the manual they have the girls like yelling out things and so the manual is more in Japanese than anything else I don't see I see very well I see no English actually so there's no English in the manual you're just gonna have to kinda wing it in that sense um, which shows you how much of this kit is really targeted at Japan um, because obviously if it was more targeted the United States then um, we'll take some photos and do some detailed photos uh, so you can see some of the, the, uh, the smaller parts. I hope you enjoyed those detailed photos on the cyber hobby slash dragon uh, mouse. Um, I don't think we've had, certainly haven't had a video on that kit, but uh, if we do have a written review, it's obviously fairly, uh, was a long time ago. So, and you can see in terms of the kind of marketing connection here with the decals and the girls on Pander, Panzer, I'm not sure the cost of these kits or whether they essentially are more than say what you could pick up one of these for in the older box. But it may be an option if you are looking for this kit, and it might be the only thing out there. The, 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 the kit may be limited in terms of what, uh, what remaining stock is there of the older kit. Uh, I know there's a lot more of these, so check out Dragon USA's website. And I'm sure if you're interested in this series or want to do one of the other tanks, I believe they have quite a few of these. I saw them at the, the U.S. National Show um, in the vendor area, and they, they seem to have like maybe eight different types of this one. So... Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. And we'll see you next time on Cracking the Box.